Se dice que en estas montañas ya se un embrujo de gloria y poder. Please, do us the honor, sir. No. After you, Mr. Ortega. Please, I insist. The body of Christ. Amen. Don't move, Father! What's the matter? Have you gone mad? Well, someone added something to the hosts. What's happening? Are you crazy? I think that somebody's trying to poison you, boss. Is that true, Father? Are the hosts poison? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Ortega. Patricia. It's all right. The mass is over. What? Everyone, go home. Dad, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't know, but we're going to get out of here. Mr. Guerrero, it's not safe for you to leave. What's going on? People tried to kill me. Hey. What? Bring two guys from the farm. Build a road up there, got it? Okay, got it. Don't go Can't near the bell. Quick. But we're on it. Move. Okay, okay. Be careful. Just get it done, alright? Don't worry about it, boss. Mr. Ortega! Can you tell me what's going on? Don't worry, nothing's wrong. Calm down. But people tried to kill you. Do you know who? <laughs> I have too many enemies. But don't worry. Nothing happened, so everything's going to be fine. Yes, he's right, home. Dad. Let's go. All right. Curses! How could you possibly let this happen to me while you've been on guard? What animal would dare do that? Innocent people could have died back there. They're hooligans. Greed overcomes fear. Offer a big reward. All right. I have to know who it is. Who told you this? That kid. Hey, you. We're going to talk later. Thank you, son. Think about the family, Eduardo. I told you, Ricardo, if you want to stay here, it's fine. I'm really bored in this place. I want to go back to Bogota. And yes, I want to go back to school. You really think this is paradise for me? This isn't the time to leave, especially with what happened to Dad. Here's what we'll do. Stay for a while, keep Dad and the girl company, then we leave. But not yet. I beg you. You have a good point, Ricardo. What's the matter? Boys, I suggest you do not leave the house. How come? They tried to kill Patricio Ortega. What do you mean? Who did it? We don't know. But it'll be bad if Ortega takes matters into his own hands, okay? So stay here. What's with the luggage? It's mine, Dad. I want to go back to Bogota. And? 
I changed my mind. I am not leaving here. Eduardo. Thank you, son. Don't move! Hey, no one leaves! Hey, back! Get back. Get your I'm not over there! Hey, you! Come on! Come over here! Knife them up against the wall now! You better tell us the truth or we're gonna shoot you! I know nothing! I don't do anything! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come with me! I'm just trying to make an honest hand! Start talking now! You, everybody! Check this place! Come on! Let's get moving! Come on! Come on! Everyone! Check that place! I didn't do anything, please! Spread out! Spread out! Search the place! Come on, let's go! Hey, up. Where are you going? Hey, you too! What are you doing here? I did not do anything. Come back here. Come on. On your feet. Move it. Move it. Come with me. Come with me. Open all those people out right away. You got it, boss. Yes, sir. Come on. Get everyone out. Let's go. Double time. I'm just asking you to think it over. I don't want to leave. Can't you see the circumstances we're living in right now? I won't let anything wrong happen to you. Nothing will happen with all these men around. Who can guarantee that? I want an answer. The only thing clear is what Casas wanted to happen, which is to seize my territory. This place is getting filled with people who want nothing but to take my mines. I think Jacinto knows it won't be easy to mess with you at all. And you already know how to deal with it. Yes, I do. But still, I have a duty to protect my wife and daughter. What if they hurt you? I don't want that. You're going to Bogota. Boss. Any news? Nothing. We searched this town's corners, but it's as if he left without a trace. He'll show up. <clears throat> it's been a while. How long are we going to wait? For Blue Eyes, what do we do? We had a perfect opportunity there. We could have finished Ortega right then and there. Don't give me that tone. I'm not your employee. We lost the element of surprise. Why not kill him yourself if you think it's easy? Why call me? Now just relax, because if we failed on the first attempt, we'll get him next time. Don't be naive. Ortega won't hang around. Until we get another chance, I think he's got a pact with the devil. Bullets nor a machete can hurt him. I'm quite sure he's preparing something by now. You know how crafty he is, boss. We're the ones that have to watch out for him. Give Mr. Casa some maize liquor, and the dog another one. I'm in no mood to drink. And be careful, it's almost dark. You're a coward. You're too scared to pull the trigger. Yes, Patricio. My boys are watching from here all the way to the ranch. Everything else is your call. Thank you, Mayor. Please, Daddy. What? I don't want to go. But it's for your own good. You'll thank me for it. God bless you, dear. Take care, okay? May God be with you. I hope this won't take long. I won't. Mello. Sir. Who's that guy over there? Sir, it's the son of that guy from Bogota. Guerrero. Guerrero. Yes. Good evening. Hello. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look who's here. What is it, cousin? Where are you taking the girls to? We're off to Bogota. Things are getting dangerous here. Don't say a word, okay? Patricio. What is it? Oh, dear. What is it this time? 
I am not leaving you alone in this town. What? Don't ever forget that I'm your wife, and my only place is right by your side. I already told you a thousand times. You're going to Bogota for your safety, is that clear? Esmeralda can go, they can take care of her there. Have you gone completely mad? You know what I think? I think you just want to watch over me. <laughs> Stop talking nonsense. You're the one who's talking nonsense. You're going with our daughter. Use your head for once. What makes you think that I'll cheat on you? This is absurd. I know you better than that. Oh, you should be on the way. I'm going to miss you so much, dear. Excuse me. Take care. Don't worry, Gladys. Not everyone in this town takes what isn't theirs. <laughs> you see it? Sir? Take care of my wife and daughter. Mm -hmm. Send a wire when you get to Bogota. Don't you worry about a thing, sir. I'll protect them with my life. Excuse me. Now, cousin, do you want me to take you home? You're in danger of being kidnapped. You don't need to worry. I can take care of myself. Besides, Romulo's here. Hello, Romulo. I'll wait for you at home. I'll be alone for the evening, all right? You never changed, Patricia. <laughs> take care, my dear. All right. Let's go, Romulo. Good evening. What? Hurry up. The sun's going to come up soon. O most holy God in heaven, grant us eternal life. O most holy God in heaven, pray for us sinners. O most holy one, pray for us sinners. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. O Holy God in heaven, grant us eternal life. O Most Holy God in heaven, pray for us sinners. May I come in? Sure. Why don't you come on in? I'm really worried about Eduardo, Dad. It's late at night, and he's wandering the streets on his own. Should I go look for him? No, you shouldn't. Let him be. That'll be good for him. Now listen. Eduardo's always been stubborn. Let him deal with life the way he knows how to. All right? Mm-hmm. You okay? Tell me. I'll manage. I always do. <laughs> Go get some sleep. Go on, relax. <laughs> Excuse me, over here. Give me a beer, please. Well, hello there, pretty boy. Why don't you fetch the kid a glass of milk? It's late. Keep it warm, because it's bedtime. His mom's going to read him a bedtime story in a few minutes, so he has to go home. <laughs> it will help you sleep better. And you're not going to be startled at all. What, are you going to let me keep this conversation going? Oh, come on, Ramiro. Stop bothering me. What, are you deaf or something? Hey, stop that! Hey, stop fighting! Take that! You move and I'll shoot! Very good, Alcira. That's great management skills. What's the matter with you? Do you really want to cause problems? This place was open for enjoyment, not for fighting. So do what Madame Alcira is saying, and beat it! 
Go! Go on, Amiro. Fine. Rosa? Yes, ma'am. Go and give that boy a drink. Right away, ma'am. Easy, Ramiro. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks. Wait a minute, Rosa. Make that the last. Yes, sir. And you, sir. I'm talking to you. Go home after that drink, okay? You don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and what about you? <laughs> Can't believe how angry you got there, huh? Where in the world did that come from? Come on, let's go. Show me where you got it from. Hmm? Father Ose. Father Ose. What's with you? Are you deaf? No. What's wrong, Patricia? I've decided to let you leave this town for good. Why? What's wrong? What do you mean? Uh. You know why. If it weren't for my godson, the whole town and I would be dead by now, and that's not good. I forgot to tell you, Patricia. I was I forgot what? my foot. Well, you have time now. You have five minutes to leave this town. Now go pack your things and beat it, and take that off. You don't deserve to wear that. Move it! Wait a minute. Where is it? Tell me. Uh, I'm afraid they stole it. Uh, uh, I they came here and they mugged with emeralds. Uh, get out before I change my mind. Swine. I'm not one to kill a priest. This is where we pack those little stones that you might have seen in those small bags. This yes, is where good. we put the emeralds sent to the central bank. And this is the office where we register. Every single detail in our books. We don't keep secrets at all. Yes, the books. Listen, um, everything looks organized, Mr. Ortega. And that's really good. Although, I really need to get familiar with the accounting. Now, you do understand why it's important for me to do this, right? So, I'm going to need the books very soon. And by the way, Mr. Silva told me something. What is it? Do you have the books? Yes. How come? That's because I used to manage everything. But because I'm the one who's in charge anyway, I thought it would be best to keep them. And besides, they have to be kept somewhere safe. Can you imagine what would happen if a crook gets his hands on them? Mm. That would be very dangerous. Don't worry, because I will give them to you. What's more, why don't we kill two birds with one stone? I'll give you the books so you can take them home, and in exchange for that, Let's have that party that I've been waiting to throw for you. All right. That's fantastic. Hmm. That man seems to be the lord of this region. There's no doubting that. Really? The man controls practically everything in this town. Everyone shows him respect. Hmm. The police and the mayor. Obviously, that man is the lord of this region. But that's not the best of him. Oh, yeah? You should see his daughter. She's the best that he's got. Really? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone that beautiful. Oh. Hey, um, do you remember what time Francelina will be here? <laughs> if you don't know. If you don't know... I want ever, Ricardo. What? So you don't know what the best part is? What? You know how that man got everything he has today? Tell me. Those little green stones. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? They found a blue eyes, boss. Why are you telling me this only now? Because I was there with this gentleman. You go and do what you want and take care of the people you need, but keep them alive. What is it with that look? Get going. You can't afford to sleep at this point. Remember, we have to do this very quickly. All right?
What happened with the favor, I asked? He's on his way there. That issue has been solved. How are things here? I think they're mocking us. We have to make our move before anyone else does. Let's see what happened. Boss. What? Bad news. The people that got to town were able to take the Gita River Bank. What? They've already set up camp there. There's a lot of people. This isn't good. They're going to want to shoot me. Say the word. I'll go get those people out there. Weren't you paying attention? There are a lot. No. This is not going to be convenient for me at all. With that new administrator around the corner. What do we do then, boss? Shut up and let me think. We have to plan our steps carefully. We might screw up. You know what? Get some palm wine. Sure. Be careful, gentlemen. Nobody wants to talk. This is boring. You want me to teach you a lesson? <laughs> Ardelia! That blue-eyes guy is pretty smart. His arm is full of deaf and mute people. Come on, buddy. Tell us where Blue Eyes is. You see? He's deaf. And you know that this makes me angry. Make sure that none of them are going to get spared. Thank you for helping us, Prancelina. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I should be the one who's supposed to be grateful. Believe me, I am. <laughs> Not for anything, but prior to having this job, I couldn't even eat. <laughs> I'm afraid that working down the river really isn't meant for me. How do you like my cooking? Yes, it's fantastic. Mm. Very good. And you? Did you like it? Mm -hmm. By the way, sir, I need to tell you. It's time to buy groceries. There's nothing in the kitchen. Franzelina, if you need anything, just tell me and I'll get it for you right away. I can keep you company. Yes, having your brother keep you company would really be a good thing. Because... I'm really sorry for saying this, but people here are aloof towards foreigners. And the men are very judgmental around women. Don't you worry, Francelina. I'll take care of myself. No, thank you for the advice. Oh no, that's a warning. And you should listen. Don't leave your sister alone. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for me to go. Enjoy your meal, everyone. Mm. Thanks, Francelina. I know what it is to be hungry. I had to work hard to be able to get out of poverty. If I wanted to fire all of you, I would have done that a long time ago. But instead, I'm going to let you all stay here at the Tambre, but under two conditions. The first one is that you're only allowed to work where I tell you to, and the second is for you to sell whatever you find to me. Do we have a deal? Yes. yes sir. Very well, then. And to show you my goodwill, I will take it upon myself to look after your safety. This is to make sure that no one will be able to steal from you or do you harm. I'll take care of your security. I'm also going to open a little store for you. You can get supplies. You can get food, clothes, whatever it is that you need and get it cheap. I know that you can't afford much, but that's okay because I will genuinely take care of you. Do you agree? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, we'll all be happy that way. I'll give you credit, and you repay me with work. Is that all right? <laughs> what do you think? If you don't mind, boss, I'd like to ask a question. When you open the other mine, will you let us work there? They say there's a lot of wealth to be found in there. <laughs> well, I hope there is wealth there, because we'll all be rich, if ever. I don't really know, but we have to go slowly. If you eat too fast, you're definitely going to choke. Let's get to work. I'll wait for you over there, and we can open your accounts. You think what he's saying is true? Yeah. Ah, come on. That's too good to be true. So we have to choose between starving or being shot to death. Oh, no! What the...? Bad. More over here. 
happened here? Check if Ando was alive. Terrible. Our guys are dead. What the heck happened? Ortega messed with my men and my family. Let's see who stands a chance. Let's give him a fight. Let's bury them. Come on. We have to bury all of them. It seems that if I want things done right, I have to do them myself. But we did everything to the letter, boss. It's just that the blue eye guy is like a chameleon. He hides and you miss him. Your excuses won't help me do anything. Boss, just give me another chance and I swear, I'm going to get him for you. Catching my foot, you know I've always called a spade a spade. You're useless and good for nothing and you're not working for me anymore. Now you two, you come with me. Boss, why fire him? He's one of the guys who... Who gave you the right to butt in? Mind your own business. What, you think what he did was right? Boss, it's been said. If that's years. how you feel, then you can go with it. But boss, I've worked for you since forever. Well, I'm sorry, cousin. You saw that? Hey, I almost got in trouble here. I'll meet you on your way out. Come on, let's go. Oh. As if you're somebody. <laughs> well, so far, Ortega has been nice to me, but he won't cheat me. He manipulates the reports that he gives the bank to the point that he keeps and manages everything. I think you should be very careful, Dad. What they say about him is pretty serious. Mm. Yes, I know. It's just that I like to do things willingly, but I do need those books and statements so I can do my job, that's all. Okay. It's getting late and Olga isn't home yet. Mm. Ricardo, could you go look for her? Will do. All right. Thank you. say and show. The only thing that I ask is you help me take care of our children. There's a message from Bogota. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Gladys and Mrs. Esmeralda are fine. At least we got good news for a change. Good evening. Okay, now my day is complete. <laughs> Hello. Look who's here. Hello, darling. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my cousin is really something. Alcira Rosa, hi. I'm good. How do you always manage to contradict everyone? A decent woman like you has no place in a bar like this. What are you doing here? Oh, cousin, if decency was measured by the places you visit. <laughs> in addition to being beautiful, you're pretty intelligent, too. <laughs> I won't take long, cousin. I only came to ask for a favor. Well, if you drink with me this evening, your wish is my command. No, thank you, cousin. Come on, cousin. Please, don't leave me hanging. Okay, fine. This is for you. That's good. Cheers. <sighs> Tell me, how can I help you? I heard about the generosity you show the peasants who came to town, and that's a good thing. And since you're being kind-hearted, cousin, I came to say I want to have my own stint in the mine. <laughs> oh, you really are something, cousin. You know women can't enter the mine. I can't let you have your own stint. It can't be. That's definitely not possible. You know well enough that I'm not just any woman. I think that's pretty obvious. I think you're scared that a woman might be able to do a better job than you. <laughs>
Fine, I'll let you do this. Because I love you so much. I'm going to help you do that. <laughs> but under one condition. You will have to assemble your own crew. We'll talk again after you do that. What do you think of that? Any thoughts? I think it's good. All right. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. We have a deal. All right, cousin. <laughs> and that is how a deal is made. <sighs> yes, it is. Have a nice day, Mello. Bye, cousin. Thanks. Wait, you're leaving without having anything? No, I'll be fine. Have a good day, Alcira. <sighs> that cousin of mine is sure great. She's amazing, isn't she? Huh? What right. do you think? I was getting scared. I said yes, but no. <laughs> Cheers. Please charge those corn cobs to my boss as well, Mr. Hinaro. All right, ma'am. Say hello to Mr. Joaquin. I will, thank you. Well, that'll be all. How much is everything? Oh, hey, miss. Don't you worry about a thing. Just take your groceries and have your father talk to me and make arrangements, all right? Wait, I don't understand. Why my father? I have money to pay you. There is nothing to worry about, miss. I just like to know who I'm conducting business with. That's all. Now go and take your groceries. What? <sighs> Look, sir. I'd like to make myself clear, all right? We women can do business as well. You should remember that, because one of these days I'm buying the whole store. Congratulations, Mr. Guerrero. I can see that you're settled comfortably now. Yes, thank you so much. So tell me, what can I do for you? Well, sir... I don't know if you know this, but a new mine has appeared here in La Victoria. <laughs> I'm actually preparing to start working on it. I haven't said anything to the central bank because I'm not sure if it'll produce anything. We can't just put the cart before the horse, can we? <laughs> What do you mean by that? The decision isn't yours. You know that. You have to report this to the central bank. And if you want to start working on it legally, of course, you should have done that already. It's clear, isn't it? Well, you know... We peasants are ignorant by nature. You don't need to worry. It will be done, Mr. Guerrero. <laughs> of course. And how are the boys doing? Are they settled in comfortably now? I think managing a home on your own has got to be pretty tough, don't you think? You know I'm alone. How did you find out? It's pretty obvious, Mr. Guerrero. I see. Maintenance can be pretty expensive, especially knowing how much the government pays for you. <laughs> Am I right? It's hard. Don't worry about it. On the bright side, I live within my means. Those are pretty strong words you have. Very admirable of you. But we have our children's future to think of. We have to be able to give them support somehow, don't we? You can experience progress here. It's just a matter of wanting it. Just say the word. And I'll do everything I can to help you out. Mr. Ortega. Hmm? Are you trying to bribe me or something? Be honest. How could you think of that? <laughs> I curious. only meant to help you. That's all I wanted to do. I'm only humbly offering my services. If you need anything, you can count on me. Also... I came over to ask when we're having your welcoming party at my house. You know, I really appreciate the gesture, but you know what I really need? What is it? All the books. And the statements of the minds. All right? Of course, they're in my office. You can come over and get them any time. <laughs> well, excuse me, Mr. Guerrero. Have a nice day. You too. The prices of brown sugar are soaring. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
hold this for a while. Ricardo, did you find her? Uh, no. That's strange. Where did she go? I'll pass by Mr. Camila's store by the corner. Maybe they've seen her. All right, I'll keep looking here. Oh, see you at home. Price for all, of all right, be careful. Okay. Okay, I'll see you then. Take care. I'll see you. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm okay. Thanks for doing what you did last night. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you. It's fine. I actually want to apologize for how you were treated at the canteen. <laughs> well, I hope you don't feel scared to go back. Oh no, of course not. Well, feel free to come back anytime you want. You're more than welcome to come back. <laughs> okay, thanks. Olga! Daddy! Olga! My dear! What's wrong? What's wrong? Tell me. What's wrong? It's okay, darling. You're home. Calm down. Calm down. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, Olga. Tell me what happened. They almost tried to what hurt happened? me. And then tried to rape me, Dad. But are you alright? Yes. Did he hurt you? No, he didn't. He didn't hurt me. Oh my goodness, how could this happen? Oh, calm down, you're safe, you're home now, you're all right. Look at me, look at me, look at me. You're all right now, and you're safe. So Let I, me help you here, you're sir. You're home, and no one can hurt you here. Come, Miss Olga. Let's get you something to eat. Please calm down now. Don't worry, nothing happened to her. Excuse me. Reina Ortega. Alejandro, I'm Alejandro Guerrero, and I'm from the Central Bank. I don't know how to thank you. Listen, it's a shame to meet under these circumstances. But a beast tried to abuse your daughter. No. I'm so sorry for saying this. But a young and beautiful girl like her shouldn't be walking alone. This town is full of animals. This shouldn't have happened to Olga, no. I have to tell the police. And they are going to help me take care of that jerk. I know they'll help me. Here's Miss Olga's purse, by the way. If you came here to stay, you should know that there's no justice in this town. If you want to protect your family, get a gun. I'll let you take care of your daughter. Excuse me. Olga! Francelina? 
Anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. You should rest. How are you doing? Much better now. Mm-hmm. Do we know who it is that did this to my sister? We don't. But then he shouldn't be hard to find at all. I'll talk to the mayor. Well, I hope that he helps us. This place has too many complications. In the meantime, what about me? Do I leave like a dog? You made it very clear to him that you won't move a muscle for me. Now, Silva, think about it, all right? What gave you the idea that I'm going to head-to-head -to -head against a state officer? What if he takes the mine management away from us? Oh, no, no, of oh, course no. not. Besides, I don't want to have any more enemies. Think about it. Everyone who's living here, they're all connected to the Emerald business. How could you turn your back to me after everything I've done for you? You shouldn't be ungrateful. That'll really hurt me. Because I also gave you a lot. You want to know what you should do right now? Collect your savings. Go back to Bogota. Go and live a life with your wife as it should be. You're well beyond pension age, my friend. <laughs> oh, Silva. Don't tell me your money went to the horse you slept with. <sighs> my goodness. All right. Because I feel indebted to you, I'm going to give you this stone. Come on, take it. You know me that well. Consider it a gift. You know how much money I paid for that rooster? I paid a whole emerald for him, a whole fortune. But why did you spend so much money on that rooster, Dad? What for? For it to get killed and for you to lose everything? Tell me, where would you invest it in? In your books, going back to the capital? I've gotten everything you need for you right here, for the taking. You should seriously consider going to the emerald business, my son. It's sure to bring you happiness. The world, no, does not exist in the emerald business. But Dad, that's not going to get me the best things in the world. For example, the love of a woman. <laughs> Come on, my son. Every woman has a price. You know the old saying, the moment hunger goes through the door, love goes out the window. <laughs> Remember that well, my son. But I want to study and travel around the world, Dad. I wonder who's been putting all these stupid ideas in your head. The world is one big cockfight. The strongest wins. <laughs> Are you telling me that in order to get to Patricia Ortega, we have to hit his family? Yes, that's what I'm saying. We have to hit his wife and daughter. I see. I'm not sure about that. But if we try to touch his family, he's going to hit my family. No, no, no. Let's leave his family alone. If you're not touching his family, then I will. Because he got to the mining camp and killed most of my men there. I'll kill him and I don't care who gets caught. Se dice que en estas montañas ya se un embrujo de gloria y poder. 